Maybe something we didn't see coming into the season is that second year player for the Cowboys, Trayvon Diggs, is in the top 10 favorites to win Defensive Player of the Year. The Cowboys might just end up having Defensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. Now this might not be as likely when humans like Aaron Donald, Miles Garrett, TJ Watt exist, but we do need to talk about how Trayvon Diggs got into this discussion. After watching him in his rookie year, there was a lot to break down going into his second year in the NFL. Very quickly, we did have our first ever live stream on this channel yesterday. It was a ton of fun. I loved being able Able to engage with you guys I didn't really promote it so if you guys are bummed we missed it I'm gonna be doing the same thing going up leading up to the Monday Night Football game next week it's gonna start about 6 p.m. Eastern time 3 p.m. Pacific if you want to set a calendar note or if you just turn on the post notifications it'll let you know when I'm live thank you guys so much I can't wait to interact and do that more with you guys back to the Diggs video after Trayvon Diggs rookie year it always felt like he was just a millimeter off watching back it always looked like he was in great position he was able to jump routes read the quarterback play the receiver he was athletic enough to stay with everyone, but he kept getting burned. He was barely missing interceptions. He was dropping them or just jumping a half a second too early or too late. He played with a ton of heart and he was never afraid to take the risk. I sat back and said, wow, if this guy can take the next step, we're looking at one of the most premier corners in the league. He just needs to put it all together. And this year he made that step and it has been so much fun to watch. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some film that shows his progression as a player. Not only after week four does he have a 28 point for passer rating, which is the best in the NFL for a DB, but in his first five games, he has six interceptions, which is just highly, highly, highly impressive. That is six times that the Cowboys get an extra possession, and the other team loses their chance of getting points because of this one man. It can't go understated how huge that has been there to their team's success. Just like interceptions for quarterbacks can be deceiving, when a receiver flat out drops a perfect ball and it gets picked off, sometimes a pick just falls into your lap, like this one against Tom Brady when Leonard Fournette that simply drops it. This counts as a pick for Diggs and he's in the right place at the right time, but these aren't the ones I'm most interested in. Well, that is until you see the zoomed out angle because he has Mike Evans one-on-one -on, -one on this play. Look how he leaves Mike Evans, sniffs out the screen, is ready to be physical and make a tackle for almost no gain, but then he ends up being rewarded with an interception for reading the play so well. And look at this one. This play is incredibly impressive. It's what I like to call Sticky Man. This is a deep crossing route by Keenan Allen, who is one of the best receivers in the entire league. When Herbert sees this coverage, he's probably drooling. And his idea is not to stare it down, but let it to and then let it fly because it's a great receiver in a man coverage beating route but Diggs is athletic enough to stay on the hip of Keenan Allen essentially just run the route better than he even does and jump it at the very last second and a very well thrown ball to take it away we say this all the time where DBs drop picks and you think oh man that's why they're playing DB and not wide receiver I've always thought that was inexcusable these are the most athletic people on the field they should work on their ball skills just as much as anything else in their game and that's exactly what Diggs has in his arsenal he he was so so sad when he was at Alabama Nick Saban moved him from wide receiver to cornerback he cried and called his brother Stefan Diggs star wide receiver for the Bills but he said hey you're gonna have to work on it you got this you're gonna make the best out of it and looking back it was probably the best thing for him it really shows that he does have an extensive receiver background though because he hawks the ball out of the air I mean look how he tracks the ball right here against the Giants it looked like he was the receiver on this play going up for the ball and getting in the best position and now we're gonna look at two plays where I really think his receiver playing days is a huge advantage for him because watching him absolutely jump these hitch routes thrown by Jalen Hurts and Sam Darnold, I mean, they don't even have a chance. He reads it like a book and doesn't hesitate. He understands the alignment, the steps, the down and distance. And once the quarterback commits to throw in the ball, boom, he plants his foot in the ground, drives through, explodes and attacks the ball to snatch it out of the air. This is where he would get burned last year. He wasn't as good as reading the routes or he hesitated for just a second. But now being an aggressive a corner is really paying off huge for him it also can get him in trouble sometimes however when he tries to run the routes better than the receivers do it can get him in trouble like it did here against Kadarius Tony but it's all a part of being aggressive and he just turned 24 years old just a few weeks ago we think about guys like experienced people like Jalen Ramsey Stephon Gilmore some of the more premier lockdown press corners in the league they found a perfect balance of athletic ability technique and instinct mixed in with a shit ton of film analysis looking at tendencies of receivers and quarterbacks Trayvon Dix has all the athletic ability in the world and he's working on getting on the level of elite corners with his technique and as he plays more years the game will become even slower and slower for him but in my opinion what he's already the best at is attacking 
taking the ball. Look at this crossing route where he's beating man-to-man -man coverage against Caddy Galladay. He gets pushed off his spot twice by the play design, but then he times it up and boom, again, he bursts to break up the pass, nearly picks it off. This is so incredibly hard to do. And he even has been able to show him to do it in zone coverage as well. This is his second pick in the Carolina game where he has a zone. Reads Darnold's eyes, jumps the thrown ball that I'm not exactly who sure is going to. I think it was just a poorly thrown ball between two people, but nonetheless, finding himself in the right spots at the right times, never dropping the picks like so many DBs do. He is on an absolute tear right now. If you're intercepting balls in man coverage when the receiver who is elite is running a route that is meant to beat man coverage, you are special and Trayvon Diggs has proven to be very special and he is only going to get better. Like I said, he's in the first quarter of his second season in the NFL and I'm sure it's going to inspire some receivers to try and make the switch to DV if they think they would have a better shot in the league like Nick Saban thought Trayvon would. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about Trayvon Diggs so far? What do you think his progression has been from his rookie year to his second year? Do you think it's a fluke? I mean, I don't think he's going to go out every single year and get six interceptions in his first five games. That is absolutely ridiculous. And I think corner, I mean, quarterbacks are going to start testing him a lot less because their passer rating is just so bad. If he can become one of those lockdown people like Jalen Ramsey, Jalen Ramsey would just said, hey, I'm bored out here. Like, they're not even throwing me the ball. That's why they're mixing in some other things. But Trayvon Diggs, while they still might not respect him as much, they're going to keep testing him. He's going to keep picking the ball off. I cannot wait to watch this. He's been a huge part of this Cowboys team success. In the live stream that I talked about earlier, I talked about the Cowboys offense and defense in fuller extent. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. But we, I'm sure we're going to cover the Cowboys again in the next Monday. I would love to see you all there for the live stream, just being able to interact with you guys more personal. Absolutely love that. Make sure to like this video if you like videos like these. Comment down below what you think about Trayvon Diggs and who you want me to cover next. And thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed daily sports content. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.